And then I'm a baby uncle, my friend, who crossed you. I mean, and I'm baby, you be a. I'm a sweetie. Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Contour's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm welcome to you. So, the mama is going to make okra stew the Ghanaian way. So, I hope you enjoy this. Her okra stew is always so good. I can't wait to eat it. And I hope you stay to the very end to enjoy this video. Let's do some cooking. So, we have a combination of oxtail, cow foot, and a little bit of beef in here. We are going to add some seasonings to it and pre-cook it. We have some chopped onions, chopped garlic. This is about three cloves of garlic in here. Some ginger. Salt. Now we are going to add some water. It's good at this point, we think. Yeah. Just has a little bit of juice. We're going to transfer it into our pot and start cooking. Now let's take a look at our ingredients. So we have some tomatoes here, some spinach, fresh spinach. Typically we would use some ayoyo or jute leaf, molokaya leaves. We don't have that, so we're gonna use the fresh spinach. We have some onions, peppers, and some pomporo, which Soma wants to use. It's a kind of squash. She wants to use that in place of garden eggs, which we can find, white garden eggs. So that's that. We also have a little piece of ginger here. Ginger, of course, makes everything better. We also have some blue crab, already cleaned. We also have some mackerel cut up into portions already. And this is some tuna, this is salted. We also have some aquabi, which is some smoked fish, more like adrenaline for extra flavor. And some palm oil, this which came from palm soup that we made recently. You can use regular palm oil as well, whatever you have. So we have a ginger onion, it's actually one and a half of the white onions, peppers and all the tomatoes going into the blender to start our stew.
we are going to transfer the pre-cooked meat into a bigger pot. Nothing going waste till so blender rinsed out with just a little bit of water. We are going to add our fish in now. We are going to add just a little bit of salt. Remember we cook the meat with some salt. So there is some salt here already. Just a little bit. I'm going to cover and let it cook. Okay, we're ready to flake our tuna or just break it up. We, these are going to be done in big chunks. Anama manyesa. So this is Pomporo, like tip. I really forgot the, to look at the name here. So I'm gonna do my research and tell you guys, but this is normally used as a soup thickener. And mama says she's just gonna peel it and chop it into the stew. So she's going to dice this. I'm say yes, I you can sit in here. She's just going to cut it into dices or cubes. This is very, very soft. It's spongy. It's almost like a zucchini. We have some cocoa here, just two for flavored fragrance.
you do a fun thing. Mm. It's very windy out here today, so it is a little bit of a challenge for this to fall through. So Mama is going to rotate the pack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are putting the adrenaline in first because you know it's very dry it will take a while to hydrate so i'm going to start making the banco Mama is removing the mackerel. Note that mackerel is referred to as salmon back home by most people, so that's what she just said. She doesn't want it to just fall apart when she puts the crab in, so she's going to remove these and cook the crab. Mama is going to put the crabs in now. We're going to put the cacao in now. We are cooking the okra in the same pot that we cook the meat in. Mama wants to dice half of this onion to put on the okra. Mama also didn't come on go so today. Okay. Um, baking soda now. We did it in the So, okay. So, Mama says if you don't want the baking soda, but you just want your okra to be slimy, you could just add the onions. 
it helps to make your okra have that slime or draw as people will call it but also of course it gives some fragrance to your okra but since we want the draw and we want the beautiful color as well we are going to add some baking soda as well Oh, I said, sir, 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 powder. So mama says she's gonna put some shrimp powder in here so we don't have to put any seasoning cube. The crab, the fish, you know, all that seafood in here is already bringing flavor, so we really don't want to overdo it. She's going to add the pomporo now. So windy out here. So this red onion is a whole one that is the last of our onions mama is going to cut them into bigger pieces so we can put in the stew when it's almost done pop of color crunch aroma flavor
Uh, okra is so perfect now just look at that just gonna put our onions and our stew will be done Mama says her stew is perfect now. She's just going to add the palm oil because the palm oil just came from the soup, so we didn't need to infuse it with anything. You might want to fry yours with some onion first before you put it in. An onion sardine. Mm -hmm. mm. A part of me just wants to stop making this video and just eat my food, but well, <laughs> that cannot happen. Well, food is ready. And I have to do a little bit of a workout so I can really enjoy this. <laughs> We a hit and I say a banger. I say it is both of them. A hit sounds like a banger. Wait, now your friend is said correct or close to correct, correct, correct. Thank you, Mama, so much for sharing this with us. Aroma on point, flavor on point, texture on point, color, everything is so perfect. You should try this recipe to understand what I'm talking about. Thanks so much for watching. You know, Mama deserves a thumbs up. Kindly give it to us and share this video. Well, if this is your first time watching me, my name is Kwanchua and making simple, replicable family meals like this is what truly makes my heart happy. And I hope you subscribe to my channel for more of such amazing videos. And until I come your way next time with something delicious, be loving, be kind, be happy.